What's up people, local fisherman here. I'm back with our third video for my Nissan Frontier. Today we're gonna do a easy mod. You only need one tool in about maybe five minutes to change this thing out. It's called the Differential Breather Mod. Check this thing out. It's baby, a little tiny thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace it, the one that's on the rear axle on my pickup truck. It's only two wheel drive. The reason why I chose this version of it is because I don't do any off-roading. I don't go in the water, you know, nothing that an ordinary truck would ever, you know, make an attempt to do. Uh, so a lot of people will do the one that they'll run a, a tube with a little fuel filter at the end to, to help, you know, breathe better you know way up higher on the truck so you don't have to worry about uh, water getting in the axle uh, the factory breather likes to clog up and rust away uh, in, in you know bad environments or over time uh, and it causes your seals to blow out because there's no ventilation in that axle it'll pressurize that's what i've been told i'm not an expert on the subject but this guy is stainless steel uh, it's made by all dogs off-road maybe a pretty popular uh, you know product They're, they make really cool off-road things they sent me this awesome sticker in the package it was $15 for this little guy and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing replaced all you need is a 14 millimeter wrench uh, I just so happen to have one right here in my pocket uh, it's a ratcheting style so that'll make it real quick and easy so let's go ahead and get under the truck and we'll get this thing removed and then I'll show you how to install the new one all right so here we are on the back axle or the rear axle I should say if you look right here is the factory breather it's got a little cap on it that's where it lets air out but it's supposed to prevent water and stuff from getting in the axle and messing up your oil uh, we're gonna go ahead and just stick this on there and then we should be able to just slide it right on and loosen this guy up a couple of turns here I'm sure it'll come off of there eventually hey must be a mile long all right so here we have the difference between the factory breather and the all dogs off-road one thing I know is that the all, I don't know if you can tell but the all dogs off-road has a white uh, element inside there I believe that's kind of like a uh, dryer uh, or something to prevent water from going in I've seen it on uh, air hoses for uh, painting cars it's kind of like a filter uh, that prevents moistures and stuff from getting in the factory one I don't see that in there but it does have this like little valve so whenever uh, it goes underwater I guess I'm assuming that'll close and that'll prevent stuff from getting in but this one it's open air you can see little tiny holes on the sides so it's just gonna go right on where the old one came off one thing you want to make sure is you clean that off real good make sure there's no mud or debris or anything like that that's gonna try to get in there all right, as you can see here, I just have the new one started just to get the threads going so I can show you guys what it's gonna look like. You're gonna go ahead and get it tight, and once it gets tight, just give it a quarter of a turn to snug it up. You don't wanna over tighten these guys. It's not a good idea. All Dogs even offers a little piece of paper that tells you don't over tighten these things, only do a quarter of a turn. All right, y'all, we're all done. We got that breather mod completed. It was pretty easy. Here's the old one right here. We don't need that anymore. We can get rid of that. Uh, special thanks to All Dogs Off Road for uh, making this little doodad, makes uh, making our truck a little bit more reliable happen for $15 on their website. That was shipped for me, so that's really cool. Uh, one last little tidbit of information gets you a 14 millimeter ratcheting wrench. That makes it super easy to change this guy out. Again, I do take prayer requests, so y'all. Feel free to leave me a comment below to let me know if you guys need to talk about anything at all. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe my videos. Uh, please, please, please comment if you have any questions or comments. And you guys have a blessed day. Thank you guys very much for watching. Until the next one, this is Local Fisherman, out.